So we're back at the house, we're gonna dig into some of this Filipino food. We're very limited <laughs> because Filipinos don't muck around there. We're, the lines were ridiculous. <laughs> but this is what we've got so far. Um, I kind of forgot what some of this is. But I think we should start with this. Whatever this is, they said the only thing that was missing, the things that you put in bubble tea, what are they called? Is it boba? That's the one. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had any of this stuff in so long, so we'll give it a try. Yeah. I think you should try it first. Yeah. Um, it was warm when we got it. It was, it was nice and hot, but yeah, it's a bit cold now. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to uh, try and cook in the food. Yeah. We'll let you try your drink. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that is actually so good. Not what I was expecting at all. It's like a dessert kind of drink. That's what it tastes like. Don't know if that's See, what it's for. Because it's been two years, over two years since I was asking for the paint, I'm starting to lose my, I don't want to say love, but everything that I've tried over the years, I've been forgetting names. So good. It is so good. Wow. It's amazing how a taste of Filipino food is just taking you back. So um, good. We've got barbecue chicken. I mean, you guys know what barbecue chicken looks like. But we'll give it a taste. We'll give it a taste. <laughs> I mean, it's chicken. We know what chicken tastes like. Yeah. But it's cooked, it's cooked but with Filipino. <laughs> That's the difference. Don't want to just grab it by the thing and just give it a big munch. <laughs> oh, he's a sort of proper. <laughs> Proper eater. Wow. Great chicken. Mmm. The way it was cooked is really good. Because it was cooked with coal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a coal burner. That's really good. Chicken innocent. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. I cannot remember now. Because usually I'd have Koya Ed or Mara and Julie ordering for me. So they'll be speaking their native tongue and I'll just you know, patiently wait for my food. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say the names. <laughs> I want this one yeah, and this that one. one. <laughs> but you know what, Masobi? Good for you. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to just take the whole thing, eh? <laughs> Cooked with Filipino love. <laughs> if I know I was going to taste this good, I would have got two more. <laughs> There's heaps more. Shame we were just in a bit of a rush. I know, because <laughs> of the rain. Yeah. Mate, the way they cook it was on point. Dan, if you're seeing this, you're missing out, mate. You're missing out. <laughs> One more bite. We'll finish that later. Should have got two minutes. <laughs> Do you want to go some? Don't worry, mate, when this is edited, it'll be real fancy. <laughs> Next up, I think we want to try this bread over here. Okay, we've got a Filipino bun, fancy sauce. And the thing I love about Filipino buns in particular, yeah. or just Filipino bread in general, is it's very sweet. Ooh. From what I remember, bread, their bread is ridiculously <laughs> sweet. So we're going to have one each. And these are all pretty basically new things other than the chicken that we're trying. Mm. Granted, there's not as much as we wanted. But it's better than nothing. There's <laughs> a little taste that you prepared for your Filipino trip, Mr. Ruby. Yeah. Filipino trip, your Filipino trip. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. It isn't as sweet as I thought it was, although maybe it varies. But one thing that with the Filipino bread is that it's always super fresh. But well, I could honestly leave the bread for like a good week and it'll still be good to eat. <laughs> Which goes better with the chicken. Mm, that's pretty good. Do you know what I mean though? It's not like a normal bun that you just get not at the supermarket. All. Not at all. It's really good. Feels like this is how buns should taste like though. <laughs> mm. And you could almost put icing on it. That's what it tastes like. Mm. A sticky bun without the icing. Yeah. We didn't get as much as we wanted. <laughs> to be honest. I've had these before. I actually... I think I might have brought some of these home. I think I got them through customs. I don't know if I was allowed to, but <laughs> I did get some of these through customs. It's a Yemma custard in Saimara. 
in Samad. And basically, it's a. You guys already know what this is. I'm just. <laughs> just I don't know if I'm just talking. It's a bun <laughs> covered in cheese with custard. Whoa. I think. I'm pretty sure that's cheese. It's different. Hey. Oh. This, um. What I think. Yeah. I think we'll let you try this one. I've, I've definitely had something similar to this in the Philippines. Alright, well, here goes. Wow. Oh. Wow. What is that? That's really good. Excuse <laughs> me. Mm. Actually, I've tried something similar, but not this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to get that in focus. Mmm. This is the combination of flavours with the cheese as mm. well. Just work. Definitely know what you're doing with your food. <laughs> mm. That's good food. That's half the reason why I'm going in the <laughs> Definitely wasn't because of no ships. <laughs> Damn, I could eat so many of those. Oh, so we're only getting... <laughs> That's it. We've got two more things. It's so different, eh? I never thought cheese would go good with I know, food. I know. It fits so well with it. Well, what the hell? Ube yema. Andiso. Purple yam with custard buns. That's good. Now, the thing with ube is I've tried so many different things in the Philippines with ube, but never this. Never this. And I've noticed ever since the pandemic, more people getting into baking, I guess just as a hobby and maybe because of a little bit of extra side income. I've seen a lot of these and I've had them opened up in this purple custard in the middle. Mm. I'm like, that looks bloody good. <laughs> I've never seen these except for today. The entire time that COVID's been around, this is the first time I've seen these. So I had to buy them. Oh. That's cool. That feels exactly how it looks. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Mm. Mm, now we got the custard. That's good. That's good. Mm. I just realized the custard is slightly different to what I was expecting. Because mm. I was expecting you know, more on the yellow side, but this is just as good. It's amazing. Mate, you're cooked with the food. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can slightly taste the ube as well. Mm. That was fantastic. I've never tasted anything similar or like that before. Yeah, that, that's, that's so the best different. Way. It's so good. That's the best way to describe it too. It's not like anything you've tasted before. No. I'm trying to remember back to when I first tried all these things. Just completely different taste. I still want to finish my chicken. Yes, <laughs> Last but not least, we've got this. I, I, I know what it's basically. <laughs> it's like sticky rice pudding. Oh, okay. I can't remember the exact name. I'll probably put it on screen. But I've definitely had this. I've had this many times. I've had it bought for me. I've bought it at food stores and you just can't get enough of this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> The sexiest rice pudding. <laughs> Got me okay. acting up and shit. <laughs> so, I don't know how much of this you want to eat, but we'll have it. It's quite sweet as well. Yeah, I so. probably won't have too much. Probably okay. a bit too sweet. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> man. It's hidden there. Dad, Dad, you're missing out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. No. Really? <laughs> Three, two, one. And it's beautiful. That is probably, out of all of these things, that reminds me of the things the most. Not only because I've had so much of this, but it's the texture as well. I remember when I first tried it, the texture of the rice amazed me because there's different variants of this pudding and different flavors. Okay. I have no idea how they do it. It's good, eh? Mm. I think it will. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. I remember I had a little farewell. There was a ridiculous amount of food brought to my condo, which I had no idea was going to happen. I knew <laughs> they were going to bring some food, but I didn't realize they were bringing that much food. Mm. But I had a lot of the stuff left over. 
And the amount of times I was too lazy to go downstairs, grab some food after a hangover. This was me, mate. This <laughs> was my going hangover to. food. This <laughs> what I was trying to finish the whole thing. <laughs> and I even had ube of this as well. Wow. Wow. And you pair that for this, you're thinking the Philippines right now. <laughs> what is the chunky things on top? I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, it's for someone there. in the comments, enlighten me. That'd be awesome. I'm sure to learn from you guys. <laughs> yes, because when we're eating food, it's pretty basic, isn't it? But unfortunately, unfortunately, that's all the food that we managed to get. It was great to be able to attend something like this, awesome. especially uh, close to home. I mean, this isn't obviously our original home, but it's our home away from home. <laughs> and the Philippines is our home away from home away from home. Maybe not your home away from home away from home, <laughs> but it's definitely that. mine. But hopefully we'll get you into the Philippines one day. Maybe some reaction videos in the near future. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, but kind of just disappeared. Yeah. Like. Again. I'll be back. But it's all good. It's all good. I'll be back. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining this little vlog. I'll let you end it. <laughs> if you want to say anything. Yeah. No, thanks. For that. <laughs> yeah. Say, yeah. Thanks for that say. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'll send you the bill and, <laughs> and we'll yeah, do mate. it another time. Just chuck it on my tab, mate. Yeah, yeah I'll chuck it on your tab. <laughs>